Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here. Today we're going to take a look at the compression lock versus a liner lock. Uh, maybe determine which one is a little bit more robust. Um, and of course this is all kind of speculation based off of uh, what I think would result in a stronger lock. Um, I have not actually tested lock strength on either one of these. Um, this is just kind of speculation on what I think would be a stronger lock. Um, so first off, let's take a look at these two knives here. Uh, both these are spider codes. This is your liner lock. This is your compression lock. Uh, Paramilitary 2 and the resilience over here. Now, first off, let's take a quick look at the liner lock. So as you can see, it is this left liner here that's under pressure to move this way. Uh, when the blade is opened, it slides underneath the lock face of the tang here and when pressure is pushed this way pressure moves down on top of this liner lock which prevents it from moving forward uh, the compression lock is pretty much the exact opposite on the back here same thing tension this way goes in but rather than force coming down force is coming this way so when the blade moves this way pivots here and then it actually engages the opposite side right here um, on this side. So there's a little piece on the tang here that moves this way. This knife, the engaging piece is right here. This knife, the engaging piece is here. So vertical and horizontal. Uh, to better illustrate that, I am going to take these apart, remove the scales so we can get a better look at the locking mechanism. So I will be right back. Well guys, like what happens with a lot of Chinese made knives, like this resilience here, uh, didn't come apart as well as I'd like. Got all these off very easily till I got to this one. Uh, this one was just spinning both sides. Uh, wouldn't come loose and then when I tried to hold this one with another tool and spin this one, it stripped out. Couldn't get it out. Anyways, not real important. I think I can demonstrate my point without taking this one apart. Uh, the paramilitary, however, really did need to come apart to kind of show how it worked. So here's the locking bar here. And as you can see, this is the piece that actually contacts that locking bar and prevents it from moving back. So when this slides up, pops forward, prevents it from moving back. So all the pressure that would be exerted this way would spin down and then come back this way. So what you have holding the blade from moving forward is that steel right there also butted up against the tang here, or the uh, stop pin. So the stop pin kind of does double duty. It's reinforcement for this compression lock, and then it's also <clears throat> prevents the blade from traveling rearward more. Uh, in my mind, this is a very, very strong design. I mean, in order for this thing to fail, two things would happen. One, this becomes dislodged and either slides all the way back to the unlocked position or it slides all the way forward and allows this to travel past it. And the other thing would be to somehow actually compress this steel and bend it. And I do not see that happening. On your liner lock, all the pressure is coming down and see how much length you have here and see how this comes up at an angle that's not that sturdy of a locking mechanism um, this could easily bend about right here either way if enough force is pressed in the rearward position um, this just is not that strong of a lock compared to the compression lock and uh, the same issue with the force causing this to dislodge either way is still present so that could happen with either one that's just par for the course that's you know, whenever you have um, a mechanical lock like that, that's possible. But the other room for failure, which is deformation of the locking bar, I think is way more likely to happen in this than the compression lock. I mean, look how that's just super reinforced. There's no way that's going to fail by deforming this lock. No way, you can't squish that, that metal there. So out of the two, I'd definitely say that the compression lock is a stronger mechanical lock than the liner lock. Alright guys, I said my piece. That's it. Take it easy. Later.